Any crazy this season just how much Alexis Sanchez is getting? I mean, he's barely played this year, yet he's got a one to watch card and now he gets a flashback card as well. It's not a bad card in fairness. Uh, obviously, it goes back to his days at Arsenal. It's a pretty good all round card. Uh, not great defending, but uh, out on the wing. It's got decent pace, got good shooting, got good passing, very good dribbling and decent physical as well. It's a pretty impressive card. Again, it's another one that's just completely come out of nowhere. Um, but what do you need to do to get hold of it? That's going to be the quick question here. So, let's have a look. To get a hold of this Alexis Sanchez, it's one team. One team with a Premier League player and an 86 rated side. So, it's effectively, effectively, it's effectively not actually that expensive. Uh, you're looking at about 146k according to Footbin. At the moment, 49% of people have voted this is worth its money, and 51% of people have said that it's not worth its money. Again, it's another one of those ones that, if he's not going to fit in your team, is probably not worth doing. However, it's a nice card. I mean, if you're, a, if you're a classical Arsenal fan, or if you're an Alexis Sanchez fan, or if you're an Inter Milan fan, it could be a very nice card to have. I think there might be, I don't know, uh, let's have a look at some of the alternatives I put together. Again, there's not really a lot of alternatives we can pick with this one. Uh, it's a pretty uh, interesting card. We've got uh, 89 rated Ryan Giggs here, which you can get for 175k. So a little bit more expensive than the Alexi Sanchez. My favourite in this position, though, has always been Douglas Costa. That 94 pace and 91 dribbling makes him a very effective card. And he's only going to cost you 7k. Uh, granted, it's five ratings lower than the Alexi Sanchez, but I've always really enjoyed using this Douglas Costa, and he's always done me really, really well. Especially since I don't use a Serie A League squad that often, having this Douglas Costa has done me pretty well just for icon swaps and that sort of stuff anyway. Uh, next up then, you've got Loudrup, 172k, so you're looking at about an extra 30k on top. 89 rated, just like Sanchez, and quite similar stats to be honest, so could really be a different option if that's something you're looking at. Uh, look at another screen card, then we have Laxalt from Torino. 30k for him, he's only 84 rated once again, but some pretty decent stats, and again, a cheaper option. It depends, as all these SPCs, like I said before, if you're going to use him. And finally, we have got uh, Pires. Uh, 220k for Pires, and I think he has probably better stats than Alexi Sanchez. So again, it's all down to you what you want to do, really, but... Me, personally, I don't think I will be completing this one. It does look pretty good value for money, but as I've said previously, I mean, if you walk into a supermarket and there's something in front of you and it says, this is half price today, if you weren't going to buy it originally and then you buy it, you've actually spent more than you were going to spend anyway on something you're probably not going to use. I think it's the same sort of thing as that. It's a good value for money, but if he doesn't fit in your team and you're not going to use him, then don't bother. I mean, even if you've got the players sat there in your squad ready to go, I'd save them for something that's a little bit more worth the money. Uh, but again, if he does go straight in your first team and he is going to fit in your first team straight away, then it's worth it. If he is one of your favourite players or you're looking to build your Inter Milan squad because you're an Inter Milan fan, then go for it. But um, for me, it's not one that I'm personally going to go for. Um, it does have its advantages if you do want to go for it. The fact that he's from the Chilean league doesn't... Uh, he's not Chilean league, is he? The fact that he is Chilean... Uh, makes him very difficult to link anyway else apart from using either icons or the Serie A. So chemistry-wise, is not going to be ideal. But I don't know, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is this Alexis Sanchez going to be a card that you will be looking to complete? Or is this another one that you will be steering clear of? Um, is it one that I should do? Do you think it's worth the, uh, worth the money? Um, I personally, like I said, are probably going to stick away from this for now. Um, and see what else comes up in the future because I've done a few of these so far. I've done the flashback Fabregas and I've not really used them at all to be honest. He sat there sort of just rusting away in the back of the cupboard um, for the day that they bring back Lee Gun icon swaps. That's the only reason I've got him for. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below this flashback Alexis Sanchez. Will this be one that you're completing or will you be steering clear? Either way, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you would like to see some more of these SBC reviews. I've been Shepard Gamer, thank you much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.